reception day reception day and more reception day hey guys it's coach d as always of the 23 percent challenge and today it is day eight that's right guys day number eight of the 23 percent challenge and it is called reception day so today we are going to talk all about reception day it's may 2016 so let's go ahead and dive right on in all right now guys yes the 23 percent challenge is officially only seven days remember it's the first seven days of every month now a few people seem to be a little confused they think that oh well it starts on the first sunday or it starts on the first monday but no i'm sorry you're mistaken <laughs> okay so whether the first of the month falls on a Sunday, a Monday, a Tuesday, or a Wednesday, that's when the 23% challenge officially begins. So again, always remember guys, the 23% challenge is the, f it starts the first day of the month, and then it goes through the seventh day of the month. Now, let's talk about reception day. Guys, reception day is day number eight. So whether it's May 8th, June 8th, July 8th, April 8th, January 8th, it'll always be reception day. All right, so now let's talk about what it means, okay? Well, it's an opportunity for us to celebrate, to party, and who doesn't like to party, <laughs> okay? And to say thank you. That's right, guys. You're saying thank you to yourself, you're saying thank you to other people and you're also saying thank you to the universe all right so let's go ahead and let's continue now before we continue i just want to let you know that reception day was actually inspired by the movie the secret now guys if you have not seen this movie i highly recommend it as a matter of fact this is probably one of, I would say, three or four movies that I would suggest you watch during the 23% challenge. The other ones are Forks Over Knives, and then we have one that talks a lot about finances. It's called Your Life, Your Money. That can easily be seen online. Perhaps in a later video, I'll provide a link, but it's called Your Life, Your money now it is aimed at college students as well as high school students but we as adults can surely learn something about our finances but i digress getting back to the secret <laughs> okay guys if you've ever seen the movie we all know that there is a three-step creative process that is eloquently explained to us during the movie well, the first step of the three-step process is to ask. The second step is to believe. And then the third step is to receive. So today, it's all about receiving. That's right, guys. Step three of the three-step creative process is all about saying thank you and all about being receptive to whatever the universe has to offer. So let's go ahead and continue. All right, now let's take an official look at the definition for the word reception. I'm gonna go ahead and read you just two definitions that I found that perfectly describe what today is all about. So here we go, definition number one, the action or process of receiving something. Second definition, a formal or informal social occasion held to celebrate a particular event. So after reading these two definitions, we now have to ask ourselves, well, what processes did I just go through these past seven days? And now that I've gone through them, how am I going to celebrate my achievements, accomplishments, and basically everything that I did? All right, now let's talk about the benefits because some people may be saying, all right, Coach D, I get it. You want me to say thank you, you want me to celebrate, but why should I do it? I mean, 
Technically, the 23% challenge is over. Why do I have to go through one more day of the 23% challenge? Well, here are the benefits and hopefully this will encourage you to partake in day number eight. Guys, the first benefit is that you will have more self-trust. Now, let's talk about this just a little bit. In a previous video, we talked about trust. And in that video, we simply define the word trust as the confident expectations of others, right? But the key word there is confident. And then the other key word is others. Well, as you go through the 23% challenge, or shall I say, as you went through the 23% challenge, surely you were able to gain more self-trust, meaning you were able to not only create expectations for yourself, but you were also able to execute specific tasks that made those expectations come to a reality. So we can now begin to not only expect more from ourselves, why? Because we now know that we can do so much more than we ever thought that we could. And we also learn that it is very, very possible for us to stop silencing our inner voice. And what does that mean? It simply means that we're now paying a little more attention to our intuition. Our second benefit is higher self-esteem. Now, guys, self-esteem simply has to do with how do you think about yourself? Do you think of yourself in a positive way or do you think of yourself in a negative way? That's up to you. It's a rhetorical question. <laughs> OK, but going through acts of gratitude going through acts of love, going through acts of forgiveness and wealth and money. Guys, doesn't that make you think a little more highly of yourself? Don't you now have less financial stress? Don't you now have less emotional stress? Don't you now feel better about your financial intelligence and your financial well-being? The possibilities are endless. So that in itself helps you to think more highly about how you feel, about how you look, and about how you think about your environment and other people all at the same time. And our third benefit is an attitude of gratitude. Now, guys, both Iyanla Van Zandt and Infinite Waters have spoken about this concept, and I love it. And all it simply means is that we need to be grateful or shall I say thankful for everything and for everyone that we ever, ever come across. The reason is because, yes, everything does happen for a reason. And some things may be good. Some things may not be so good, but that's OK. Always remember that there is a lesson to be learned. And so once we're able to extract the lesson and set aside the experience, then we can be thankful that we are now more wise. <laughs> so, guys, I really, really hope those three benefits have helped you uh, and to encourage you to partake in day eight reception day. All right, so now let's talk about the details of reception day, because I got to be honest with you guys, it's not that difficult. As a matter of fact, it's very, very easy. <laughs> All right. So step number one, figure out how you want to celebrate. That's right, guys. So you can throw a party. You can maybe take yourself to breakfast, lunch or dinner, or you could do a family slash friends gathering or outing. All right. So. That's the first step. Figure out what it is you want to do. Figure out how you want to celebrate. OK, you can do it by yourself or your significant other. Or if you have a family, then you know what? Get everybody involved. All right. Step two. Now that you figured out what you want to do, then just do it. <laughs> OK, guys, if we take a look at the picture, the picture says be your own cheerleader. That's right. So guys, today 
you are going to be your own cheerleader. You are going to be the one who says hurrah. You're going to be the one who says go, go, go. You are going to be the driving force of your life. That's right, guys. No longer are we going to look towards other people and other things and other situations and circumstances in order to motivate us, in order to drive us. Instead, we are going to be our very own cheerleader. That's right. So please just do it. Do not procrastinate. Don't delay. Do it today. And here's one other little small detail for reception day. Don't wait. Do not wait on anyone. Okay. Whether it's your husband or your wife, your kids. Okay. Do not wait on anyone. This is your opportunity to basically pat yourself on the back for all of the hard work that you've done these past seven days. I mean, guys, let's not forget you forgave or you asked for forgiveness. For some people, that was probably the most challenging day. So be proud of the fact that you were able to release that stress and negativity. Be proud of the fact that you were able to radically change your eating habits for seven consecutive days. You said no to the meat. You said no to the donuts. You said no to the ice cream. You said no to eating out. You said no to people who invited you to eat out. So be proud of the fact that you were steadfast and unmovable. All right. Now, this is part three of reception day. Guys, we have to reflect. That's right. So when we talk about reflection, really what we're talking about is our ability to think back and figure out what we learned. That's right. So this is part three of reception day. So reflect by asking yourself, what did I learn this week? And what's important is don't group everything together. Go day by day. And so right now I want to share with you the seven things or maybe more than seven things that I learned f during the 23% challenge for the month of May, 2016 on nature day. Guys, remember I told you, uh, one gentleman asked to use my cell phone, uh, because he was locked out of his apartment. And then when I went to the gym later on that evening, another guy, a complete stranger asked me for a spot. Uh, while he was doing incline bench press. That's right. So guys, I now know, and yes, I've known this for the longest, but nature day just helped to reaffirm it <clears throat> that I can help. That's right, guys. A lot of times people, we don't think that we can help anybody. Why? Because we focus on what we don't have. But guys, I got to tell you, when you have an attitude of gratitude, you appreciate everything that you do have and you focus on what you have. You no longer focus on what you don't have. So whenever someone asks for help, whether they need your time, they ask for money, they ask for your cell phone, they ask for a spot at the gym, then I now know that I have whatever it is that people need. And if I don't have it, then I can help them in some way, shape or form get whatever it is they're asking for. On money day, I learned that people are willing to help. That's right, guys. Remember, I met with Joseph Marciano. He is the certified financial consultant. OK, we sat down. We had a wonderful conversation about my finances, about what I plan to do with the 23 percent challenge as a business. So, guys, people are always willing to help. But just remember, it is important that you enter their space with an attitude of forgiveness an attitude of gratitude and most important is that you represent love that's all on gratitude day it feels great to improve relationships i gotta tell you <clears throat> spending time with my sister on gratitude day was amazing Plus, my little niece was there. So that just basically put the cherry on top of the icing. <laughs> All right. So, guys, if there is any relationship in your life that you think deserves more time, more love, 
more compassion, more kindness, then do it. Okay. So that's what I learned. I learned that I can improve any relationship that I want to improve. And so hopefully you feel the same way. All right. Now, remember guys, day five normally is forgiveness day, but this particular month, I decided to swap forgiveness day out for cleaning day. All right. Now, don't worry, guys. In a little while, I'll do a video about swap days. OK, because I know some of you are like, oh, my God, what's a swap day? <laughs> All right. Don't worry. I'll do a whole video on it and you'll know that it's amazing. OK, but guys, on cleaning day and this is coming from someone who really doesn't like to clean is that I can keep my house clean. <laughs> All right. You know, all too often we set aside doing the dishes, decluttering, doing, cleaning our bathrooms, uh, mopping the floor, sweeping the floor, uh, vacuuming the floor. We put all those things aside because we get so bombarded with the everyday activities of life, right? But when you actually set aside time, when you're able to manage your time a little more wisely, then you will notice that you'll be able to accomplish so much more than you ever thought possible. So guys, cleaning day was almost an epiphany for me to let myself know that, yes, I can most certainly keep my apartment clean. Exercise day, right? We always love to exercise. And what did I do? I did Zumba. <laughs> okay. Now, what I learned from this experience, right, is that my weaknesses were exposed. That's right. I'm not as well coordinated as I thought. I don't have the, the aerobic capacity that I thought. But here's the good part. Now that I know what my weaknesses are, I can now work on them so that they can become my strengths. You see how that works? So, guys, don't be afraid to find out what your weaknesses are. Once you identify the problem, then you can find a solution. You see how that works? And of course, on wealth day, right? <laughs> okay. I do understand that people, that other people are aware of wealthy thinking. Now guys, for wealth day, right? I went to my favorite brand. I went to the Cadillac dealership. I sat inside the brand new CT6, which is probably at this point in time, my dream car. And I'm and I'm going to get it. <laughs> OK, but, you know, talking to uh, Eduardo, he was my sales uh, salesperson that day. Once I told him what I was doing and my reason for being there, then he totally understood it. As a matter of fact, he chimed in with a few of his own personal thoughts about wealth thinking. So it was great to know that I was in the company of someone who was basically on the same wavelength that I was. Now, do I think that's coincidence? Uh, perhaps. But again, guys, I got to tell you that when you're doing the 23% challenge, good things just happen out of the blue. That's right, guys. The 23% challenge causes the universe to change and to shift so that you in turn are able to do more, have more and be more. All right. So coach D, what did you do for reception day? All right. Well, I celebrated mother's day. Now I probably have told you that back in, uh, I believe it was 2005, I think, <laughs> or 2007, I'm not sure. Uh, my mother passed away. And so I no longer have a mother at least here on earth physically. But I said, you know what? This is not an opportunity for me to be sad, to be upset, to be depressed. Actually, this is an opportunity for me to celebrate. That's right, guys. So I wanted to simply share my love of mothers with everybody. So I actually created a video for Mother's Day. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. It's under the playlist that is entitled Holidays, please. I guarantee it'll blow you away. All right. So guys, that was how I wanted to say thank you to the universe for not only blessing me with the mother that I had for over 30 years of my life, but to also give a, a special, uh, shall we say, praise to all of the current mothers that are out there. 
All right, coach these tips. Now guys, this is some important stuff, all right? Tip number one for reception day. This is a must. So yes, you have to do it, <laughs> okay? Uh, tip number two, take it all in. So whatever you're doing, however you're celebrating today, however you are recognizing your accomplishments for the past seven days, take it all in. So whether you're by yourself or you're with your friends or you're with your family members or just with one other person who happens to be your significant other, then just take everything in. Notice the smells, notice the sights. If you touch anything, notice the textures, notice everything that's around you. All right, tip number three, be flexible guys. Have a plan B because you never know, plan A may not work out. So always, always, always have a plan B. That way you're likely to be more successful. <laughs> All right, my next tip, take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Give yourself at least an hour to celebrate, at least. All right, at least one full hour. My next tip, celebrate even if you're alone. That's right, guys, because oftentimes people, <laughs> okay, friends and family, perhaps business associates or colleagues, they may say, well, no, let's do it tomorrow. Or no, you know what? I'll be free next week. Or how about the weekend? You say no. Smile and politely say, you know what? I understand where you're coming from, but this is important to me. And I understand that it has to be done today. So I'm just going to go by myself. All right. Deuces. <laughs> okay. Uh, my next tip, let no one rain on your parade. Now, if anybody says, oh, well, that's stupid. Why do you have to do that? Don't do that. I can't believe you're doing that. Then you know what? Just again, smile and walk away. That's all. There's no need for you to explain yourself to anybody. Okay. Now, this is one thing that Mother Iyala says. Do not let the confusion of other people judge the clarity of your vision. You see, so even if no one understands why you're celebrating, then that doesn't mean that you can't celebrate. Celebrate anyway. Don't let anybody rain on your parade. Remember, guys, you are the one who forgave. You are the one who lowered your financial stress. You are the one who spent time with a friend or family member and told them three reasons why you really appreciate that. Who does that? So you need to celebrate. You need to recognize the fact that you were able to go through seven days of no animal products, no processed foods, no processed beverages, and no meat. Who does that? So again, recognize that you are special, recognize that you are unique, and recognize that there is nobody on planet Earth like you. That's right. And last but not least, here's my last little tip, okay? Do something that brings you joy, excitement, and pure bliss. So maybe that means that you go get a massage. Maybe that means you treat yourself to an expensive dinner. Maybe it means that you um, go and spend some quality time with a special friend. Guys, whatever you decide to do, just make sure that it focuses on you bringing you more joy, more excitement, and more bliss. All right, vegan diet reminder. Well, guys, <laughs> there is no reminder. The vegan diet is over. Remember, the 23% challenge is one part wellness, one part vegan, but it only lasts the first seven days. So now that this is day eight, you no longer need to adhere to the vegan diet. So you can eat whatever you want, all right? So you've been craving donuts, kind of like me. <laughs> Cookies, cakes, and pies, and meat, of course. Um, alcohol, right? You want to go out and get drunk? Go get drunk, okay? This is your opportunity to celebrate, okay? So feel free to eat and drink whatever you want. It is time to celebrate. And so this is why I'm transitioning away from veganism <laughs> because the vegan diet is officially over. All right, guys. All right. Take home message. Take home message. Take home message. All right. Check it out. 
celebrate your successes. That's right, guys. Don't wait until something huge or something, you know, monstrous happens. No, you got to celebrate the little things. And for us, now that we've gone through the 23% challenge, maybe this is your first time, maybe it's your second time, maybe it's your fifth time doing it. Well, guys, celebrate your accomplishments. Recognize your achievements. This is very, very important because it also helps you to feel good. Remember, during your celebration process, yes, all four feel good chemicals will be released. And so you are going to feel like you are literally on top of the world. And as always, guys, let's eat well, let's feel well, let's think well, let's do well, and ultimately, let's be well. This is Coach D of the 23% Challenge. And guys, for the month of May 2016, I am signing out. See you in June. Goodbye. Be blessed. I love you.